Aloha, Pastor Keith here coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town, and it's gray and rainy out there. Yeah, but we're still in Hawaii, so it's okay. We're going to read from Proverbs, which we don't do much, but we're going to have added here. Proverbs 6, starting with verse 6. Go to the ant, you lazy bones, consider its ways and be wise. Without having any chief or officer or ruler, it prepares its food in summer and gathers its sustenance in harvest. How long will you lie there, O lazy bones? When will you rouse from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed warrior. A scoundrel and a villain goes around with crooked speech, winking the eyes, shuffling the feet, pointing the fingers, with perverted mind devising evil, continually sowing discord. On such a one, calamity will descend suddenly. In a moment, damage beyond repair. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that hurry to run to evil, a lying witness who testifies falsely, and one who sows discord in a family. My child, keep your father's commandment, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them upon your heart always. Tie them around your neck. When you walk, they will lead you. When you lie down, they will watch over you. And when you are awake, they will talk with you. For the commandment is a lamp, and the teaching a light, and the reproofs of discipline are the way of life. Lots of practical wisdom there from ants and hard work and what scoundrels and villains are up to and the six, seven things that the Lord hates and advice to keep those who parent you. Keep their advice, their words on your heart because you will, you will remember them. It's amazing, isn't it? How in the end we go, oh my gosh, I've just become like my father or my mother or my grandmother or whoever, right? Oh my goodness. Here's a prayer from Catherine of Siena, who lived from 1347 to 1380, not very long, 33 years, a prayer for wisdom. Power of the Eternal Father, help me. Wisdom of the Son, enlighten the eye of my understanding. Tender mercy of the Holy Spirit, unite my heart to yourself. Eternal God, restore health to the sick and life to the dead. Give us a voice, your own voice to cry out to you for mercy for the world. You light, give light. You wisdom, give wisdom. You supreme strength, strengthen us. Amen. And now may the God of wisdom grant you all spiritual knowledge and guide you in the way of truth and peace today and throughout the week. Amen.